<clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chance. Um, and like, I just I wanted to kind of you know talk to you guys about the post that I made about you know how I'm looking for a job, you know, doing photography. Because I know a lot of you guys, you know, have been saying that you know you guys really enjoy my photos, my especially my black and whites and my nature photos. I know you guys have been really getting into those, which I'm grateful for. And if you guys have not checked out my work, the link to my portfolio is actually in the description. Uh, if you guys scroll down to the bottom, you'll see my newest stuff. But uh, I wanted to talk to you guys, you know, about, you know, why it's so important for me, you know, like why I don't want to accept you know, just temporary stuff. Um, a lot of you guys have been saying, you know, why don't you have a job doing it full time? You know, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you that? And I've been trying. Um, like I said, you know, I've been trying for the last couple of days, you know, finding jobs, doing it. Um, I've been putting my stuff out on sites like Folk, um, DeviantArt, you know, different sites where I can actually sell my stuff. And it's not working that well for me right now, but it's probably because I haven't been on there that long. Um, but, uh, you know, everybody says, you know, like, take what you can, take what you can, you know, like, even if it's temporary. But here's the thing about temporary work as a photographer. It's never guaranteed. And that's yeah, I need something that's guaranteed because one day I could be doing, you know, some amazing work with, you know, Walmarts or whoever. And then next day it could be done just like that. Like they could let me go within a day or within an hour. That's why I need a job doing photography, whether it's full time or part time. Like, I don't want this temporary crap because temporary means that they can cut you at any time. Any time they could cut you. And that's what I don't want to have happen. That's why I've been putting out, you know, submissions to magazines. Um, I've been, you know, looking into selling my work, which is not that easy. Um, you know, I've been hitting up, you know, stores, companies about work and, you know, like most of them are temporary, which, like I said, if temporary is not for me because if I do temporary, I know that I could be let go at any given time. I want a job doing it where I know it's a steady income. I can do it every day, you know, and I can make a solid living at it. Like, that's why, you know, I take my photography very seriously. I would rather have a job doing it part-time or full-time rather than temporary. Because, like I said, if I do temporary work as a photographer, they can let me go at any given time. Any given time. Temporary jobs like that are not guaranteed. I need a full-time and solid job doing that. Which is why, you know, I've been working so hard. You know, I've been studying photography for the last two years. Um, and you guys can actually see the difference from what I started out with. You know, even though, you know, using these lenses right here from Five Star Prime starting out was not that bad. Um, they served me pretty well, honestly. Not going to lie. Like these, I recommend these for anybody starting out with a phone. But you can guys can definitely tell the difference from when I use this to when I'm using now, which is the Canon Rebel EOS T6. Like you guys can see the progression of my work. And, you know, everybody's told me, you know, you need to be doing this for a living. You need to be doing this for a living. And that's what I'm trying to do. Whether it be selling my photos, whether it be 
you know, getting them into magazines, whether it's doing photography for a store full time or part time. I'm looking for work doing it. I'm trying to make money doing it, but it's not that simple. It's not as easy as people think. Even on even selling stuff on Shutterstock or iStock, it's it's not easy. People think that it's super easy being a photographer, but it's really not. It's honestly one of the hardest things in the world. Because you know, one day you can be making hundreds and thousands of dollars, and next minute it could be all over. Um, which ignore that. 